Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Infinite Knowledge and this is our third video of our electronic circuitry series in which uh, uh, we have already gone through a three different uh, uh, inverters types of inverter in which I have used MOSFETs as a main source of circuitries and uh, here here in this uh, circuitry we are only focusing on mainly or we are mainly focusing on the card control circuitry. The first video was on the Arduino and Arduino was used to switching on and off the MOSFETs for getting the particular output. Now we have uh, in, the, in the second video uh, we have gone through the uh, IC triple five how IC triple five used to get a specific uh, a square wave and by how to arrange the square wave to get a proper output and to turning on and off specific uh, uh, MOSFETs as a particular time. Now on the third video same concept uh, will be used uh, but uh, the components are different here we are using lm358 or you can say a very common word it is a operational amplifier the operational amplifier has an enormous use it's used each and every uh, basic circuitries to the advanced circuitries uh, in all electronic circuitries so mostly uh, uh, ic355 are used to uh, make an uh, inverter but uh, uh, we are focusing on the design and of switching for the inverter. So inverter part is here also same in the three in the each series in the each of our video electronics uh, uh, mainly the MOSFET circuit is similar. But we are just checking how you are able to make a different uh, uh, different different switching circuit for your inverters. So uh, similar to it. So what is, what we have used here. So here we have used the operational amplifier and again the main, main consequences or main problem with the operational amplifier is that we are getting a positive voltage as well as negative voltage. It means positive 5 volt, negative 5 volt. The output of the operational amplifier. We output at pin number 1. At pin number 1. I think so. I have to delete remaining uh, sites and this one is here. Yes. So, okay. For pin number 6. Yes, the pin number six is our output pin, and it at, at which at which we are getting uh, the voltage. It's very high voltage and low voltage. It means five voltage or minus five voltage. But when you want to switch on and off, you require a particular voltage. Like uh, for five voltage, if I applied five voltage for this two, this two gets on, and at the same moment, this two gets not on. If two gets on, it will cause a directly short circuit. So you need to switch on and off all the MOSFETs a particular time with a particular time. So here I have used um, uh, LM358 IC and these two components mainly are used to get a proper output. So what is uh, output of this uh, uh, LM358 is 50 Hz frequency. So by calculating uh, uh, as per this formula as I, I got a 9210 ohm for this specific resistance because these two components are used to define or to define your output frequency and by calculating these two components uh, and this 10k 10k resistors are similar same here also these two so by this 10k and one micro microfarad capacitor we are getting our resistance value i have calculated a resistance value uh, for for this circuitry was 9210 according to this formula but uh, 9210 resistance is not available in the market so i have used 10 kilo ohm resistor so you you need to focus on the market availability also if you calculated any random value and if the market does not contain that value resistance so you should not do uh, you can you cannot make a circuitry so you should find alternative way so i consider 10 kilo ohm uh, Home register and when I run it you can see here we are getting here specific output uh, wait for a while to generate an output it will take some time to generate output and here you can see okay okay output is generated and uh, I think so uh, this one is not a necessary output I removed it and uh, once again run it okay so first one is our output output of your lm358 so what 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 is the output here for a channel okay so you can see here 11 volt and minus 11 volt or minus 10 volt minus 11 volt so this minus 
you cannot switch on and off by this minus or plus voltage you need only a, po a po positive voltage to turn on this two at the remaining time you need another positive voltage to turn on this two so that's why i have made a circuitry and here i have used the transistor uh, as a switch and one diode one diode to switch on and off my transistor properly and according to that this will this this circuitry which one this one this this two gets on and off and this two get on and off so this two gets on and off by directly and then i have used diode for a particular voltage level and then i have switching on and off a, a transistor and according to that way i am getting a switching of this two so i am getting a proper switching of this two and I, what is the input voltage it's uh, nearly a uh, due to generation it's uh, 30 to 35 voltage and the output is here to 200 or nearly 200 voltage we are getting at output and here in parallel with the output or in the parallel with the lamp, lamp you need to use a, a variaster variaster to protect mov 240 to protect your circuit from any voltage variation so this is how you can make a simple inverter in all part of our uh, series inverter is same there is no any change in the inverter we are just changing or we are just implementing different different method to getting a switching proper switching for your inverter so if you want uh, this protest file you will get in the description box if you want a hardware model of the inverter that is also available in the or by for that you can connect with me with my email id that is given in the description box and if you want uh, any electronics project that uh, done by me you can also connect with me through same email id I am also providing hardware project so I hope this video is inf informative for you and thanks for watching this video if you have still any question just comment it I will definitely again thanks for watching this